different from, uh, you know, except in fight scenes and movies. Fight scenes and movies, everything's choreographed. And that's not the case for you guys, right? No. Like every, every blow, every... No, because when you, when, you know, when you first start out, you will plan A to Z and... You'll go out there, and I've been out in crowds, or some crowds want to see everything you do, and they're into it, and then there's some that just don't want to see anything, and... You know, that's where wrestling comes in to being, like I said, it's like being a stuntman and being an improv actor, and you listen to the crowd and you feed off the crowd, because if you're doing something that the crowd's not into it, but then you do something else and they react to it, you stick with that, and you really base off of what the crowd reacts to and listening to. And that's where, you know, comes the time and experience. So the audience is part of the show? The audience is 100% part of the show. It's, if there's no audience where I don't even know what we're doing. Um, but yeah, you know, like, if they're not there to boo the bad guy, they're not going to care about the good guy. And if they're not going to care about the good guy, they're not going to care about the bad guy. So it's, the audience plays a huge part in what we do. That's the main reason why we do It's entertaining. And then, do you have a wrestling background before this? Uh, I was an amateur in high school. I went to counties in 2004, right before I graduated. Um, when I started doing this, my wrestling coach told me he's either amateur or the, the fake stuff. And because I had a love for this, I chose this. Um, and uh, judo and the wrestling come in? Um, I mean, the amateur when I first started came in a lot. Wow. Basically, you know, moving around the ring and being fluent and being used to being connected with another body. But it's a lot different, though. It, the positioning is different, the tie-ups are different. Um, and then as time went on, it completely changed my style to more of being a roller and being more physical and doing a lot more, I guess, hardcore stuff. So that kind of lost its way because it just wasn't what I was into. Now, if you've been doing the pro wrestling for a while and you've got that real pro wrestling style, do you think that you could fight? I mean, I think it's all in the person. I think yeah. anyone can learn to fight, but I think being a, a pro wrestler naturally makes you tougher than normal people because, like I said, you're landing on, you know, I mean, I land on concrete. Um, <laughs> the ring is rough. I've been punched in the face. So I think naturally your body gets a little hardened to the normal person, but I think with training and, you know, I think anyone can do it, but it also depends on how bad your body is. Yeah. You, know, you got a guy like, you know, I've been doing it for 10 years, I'm only 27. And I'm not broken, but I feel it every now and then. I'll go to the gym and I'll work out, and I won't. Or I go to the treadmill or whatever I'm doing. I my joints don't hurt. You got a guy that's only been doing it for three years. He can probably make a transition. But so, so, how many shows do you wrestle in per year? Uh, per year, I mean, that that's a rough one. Monthly, anywhere from four to six a month. Sometimes I'm doing two shows a, a weekend and a day, like a Saturday. Uh, this weekend I did Friday. I did two shows Friday, and I did one yesterday. And Today's my old thing, but I'm here training. Um, so I'm at least in a ring wrestling or doing a, what we call a practice match or a mini match um, two days a week. So I'm always in a ring. Um, show wise, it could be, like I said, one show a week, it could be two, it could be three, it could be four. <laughs> I've, wrestled, I've wrestled outdoors, I've wrestled in flea markets, uh, churches, <laughs> schools, firehouses. Um, I've wrestled in nightclubs. <laughs> Strip club slash nightclub. I've wrestled in uh, almost, I'd say almost anything I've wrestled in. I've wrestled behind supermarkets, behind, and anywhere they put a ring up, they bring fans. I mean, people. Oh! Shit. Oh! I've wrestled in carnivals. Um, like the county, county fair, fair, yeah. BFW, BFW, Hall, <laughs> Union um, Hall. <laughs> yeah, pretty much anything that's big enough that they'll rent the building out. They'll somebody will put a ring in and they'll hold people come. And some of the places are because I've changed in the back of uh, U halls. Um, I've changed in lunch rooms, cafeteria. It's I've changed in some places where I even I'm like, what am I doing? Uh, in Trinidad, we were wrestling in a they had a water park. So while we were wrestling, there were people who were on rides and stuff like that. So there's some interesting things. I wrestled um, 
with in a rodeo, uh, I don't really know what they call it, uh, like a bull arena basically, in the, about 10 feet from where we were changing it, all the bulls penned up. So it's been, it's been some interesting moments where it's just like, you look at what am I doing? As for the body breaking down, though, man, Hulk Hogan's a mess. Yeah, he's beat up, yeah, Rick Flair's beat up. Nice. I mean, Mick Foley Rick can Flair, yeah. barely walk. Um, I remember he had Terry Funk here, and he could barely walk, and it was just frightening to see how he was. It's just, you know, you, you use your body up, basically, you know. And the human body's not supposed to do the things that we do. You know, I say, I always said wrestling's the toughest thing in the world. Um, people always go with MMA or boxing, and I understand it's real, but I'm not... In MMA, you're not trying to get hit. You're not trying to get right, in the hole. Right. Wrestling, I'm asking a guy that I'm friends with, and I'm going to go out and eat afterwards, punch me in the face, or hit me in the back, or slam me on the ground. Or... So we're getting hit, and we're getting hit purposely. Even though you learn how to land, like you don't learn how to take a steel chair or land on a ladder, or even really don't even learn. Like, like you said, punches slip, and guys come back black and blue and cut up, and things happen. So wrestlers, to me, are the toughest. And guys in WWE, there's no downtime. You know, you're going, they go 300 days a year. Five days a week and have two days off. Those two days off, they're not home. They're traveling or they're in a hotel or, you know. So it's it's very physical on your body and it takes a mental toll on you too. It's it's rough. Yeah. You got anything you want to tell the folks at home about wrestling? Anything? I think mean, if you never watched professional wrestling, definitely check it out. Um, give it a chance. It's the greatest. I mean, to me, it's the greatest show in the world. It's got everything. It's action, drama, comedy. I mean, it's a movie. It's a live action movie. It's, it's what you're paying for. And tickets are fifteen dollars in advance here at NYWC, twenty at the door. You know, and for that price, you know, food's cheaper than going to a movie. The movie's like twelve, thirteen bucks anyway. And by the time you buy your popcorn and soda, you're into thirty bucks, and you get. Three hours, and you get, like I said, you get drama, you get action, you get, you know, horror with the hardcore. You get a little bit of everything, and it's fun. And definitely check out nywc.com and the Facebook and Training School if you're interested. That's it, man. This is the place to be in wrestling, man. Long Island. This is it. That's awesome, man. All right, I'm Antonio Graceffo at the Wrestling School.